Welcome to the podcast. My name is Dr. Noor Gajraj. Let's talk about Giro science, bridging the gap to healthy aging. The longevity paradox, lifespan versus health span. We are living longer, but for far too many, the quality of those extra years is compromised by chronic disease. The health crisis of our time is not just that we are aging, but the aging is a central driver of conditions like cancer, diabetes, heart disease, and Alzheimer's. Geroscience posits that instead of treating each chronic disease individually, we should focus on the common underlying factor, the aging process. The central hypothesis. Geroscience is the promising shift in the scientific community's approach. It is an interdisciplinary field dedicated to understanding the relationship between aging and age-related diseases. The core hypothesis is simple yet profound. Aging is the number one, the number two, and the number three risk factor for many chronic diseases. By understanding the biology of aging, we can unlock the etiology of these diseases with the potential to delay, prevent, or even reverse them. This outcome promises many medical and economic benefits to society. Aging and Alzheimer's disease. The connection between aging and Alzheimer's is undeniable. Aging is the number one risk factor for Alzheimer's disease. Geroscience is exploring this link by focusing on early intervention. People with Alzheimer's clear amyloid beta from their bodies more slowly. Dominantly inherited Alzheimer's network, DIAN, gives new hope that we might soon be able to prevent the disease. Similarly, Dr. Edward Koo's research looks upstream to understand why synapses, the crucial communication points between neurons, are lost or stop functioning correctly before the neurons themselves die. Aging and cancer. The direct biomedical connection between cancer and aging is undisputed. Age is the most important risk factor for developing cancer, with 53% of cases appearing in people over 65. Dr. Judith Campisi's lab investigates cellular senescence, the process by which cells stop dividing. While senescent cells can slow tumor growth and promote healing as we age, they accumulate in tissues, secrete damaging enzymes, and promote chronic inflammation, which can hasten and even cause cancer. This makes cancer a prime ambassador for geroscience, as targeting the accumulation of these senescent cells is a promising new way to approach cancer prevention. Aging and diabetes. Diabetes and aging have a dangerous synergy. Aging is a major risk factor for diabetes, while diabetes accelerates many of the problems of old age. At the molecular level, type 2 diabetes mirrors the aging process. If we can understand what causes diabetes at a molecular level, it will help us better understand some of the processes of aging. Exercise can rejuvenate an older person's mitochondria to the extent that you can't distinguish them from a young person's. The ultimate goal is to find a pharmaceutical, nutraceutical, or even a food that can mimic the benefits of exercise. Minding the gap challenges in the field. The field of geroscience and aging research in general faces critical challenges in bridging the gap between scientific discoveries and clinical care. Researchers like Stephen Ousted call for a fundamental change in how clinical trials are designed, advocating for the inclusion of more older people and individuals with multiple health issues in these studies. 
At the clinical level, physicians need a greater capacity to apply new and emerging evidence, requiring providers with both geriatrics and other specialty backgrounds. The challenge lies in moving lab discoveries more quickly to human clinical trials and in building a healthcare system that can support this new evidence-based approach to healthy aging. The promise of geroscience. Geroscience is fueled by a new spirit of collaboration and holds great promise. The NIH hosted a landmark Advances in Geroscience Summit, bringing together over 500 researchers from 20 of the 27 NIH institutes. In the past 10 years, geroscience has yielded discoveries that once sounded unimaginable. Scientists are now able to modify the aging process in laboratory animals through a variety of interventions, including caloric restriction, pharmaceuticals, and genetic manipulation. The growing scientific consensus is that they will soon be able to delay or even prevent the diseases of old age in humans. Conclusion, a new era of health. In conclusion, geroscience is the key to unlocking the etiology of chronic diseases by studying the biology of aging. It provides a new interdisciplinary lens that is yielding mutually beneficial results for both aging and chronic disease research. By funding the best and brightest scientific investigators and building the pipeline of talent, organizations like AFAR are helping to transform the promise of geroscience into results. This is a critical demographic moment, and by focusing on the fundamental processes of aging, we stand to help us all live healthier, longer lives. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Please consider buying my book, 100 Pathways to Longevity, and subscribing to my channel.